arresting action from Portland City officials. A group says too many people have died on Southeast Division Street. It's a dangerous area. Now they want some changes made now. We told you about two people who died in just one day last week on Division. Our Chris Holmstrom is live out there right now. And Chris, what exactly does this group want? Yeah, Jennifer, I'm out here along Division Street. It's one of the most dangerous corridors in Portland. That's why this group is pushing for safety improvements, and they're pushing for those improvements to happen now. October 2016, a 34-year-old woman was killed after a hit-and-run crash on 139th and Division. Nearly two months later, Lawrence Farrington was arrested and charged with manslaughter and hit-and-run charges. Earlier this year, another pedestrian fatality. An elderly woman killed crossing a crosswalk on 156th and Division. The same crosswalk Kim Stone's son was killed at three years ago. I had been trying to reach him all day because I expected him to visit me at work. And um, he was crossing to catch the bus to come downtown. And um, we didn't learn till late that afternoon. News no mother or family for that matter wants to hear, but it happens all the time. That's why she started a group called Oregon and Southwest Washington Families for Safe Streets. We want to see no more deaths on our roads. Um, or serious injuries. Um, one is too many. While she says there are several dangerous corridors, the group is currently asking the Portland City Council to increase safety along division. One idea, adding medians, like they did here along Powell. Even though there's st still two travel lanes for most of that stretch, I feel it, that it has slowed cars down. She says speed is another issue. In fact, she'd like to drop the speed along division from 35 miles per hour to 30 miles per hour. But she says that's tough to do when you need to have state approval. That's something else Families for Safe Streets would like Portland to do is, is push for the ability to set the speeds without permission um, from another body. And back out here live, I also spoke with Peabot. They tell me they are planning to add safety cameras along division to decrease speeding. They've also submitted a request to ODOT to lower speed in that area east of 82nd, but this could take more than a year to do so. So in the meantime, they will install speed reader boards. So hopefully people will start slowing down. And of course, we'll keep you updated on all these safety improvements. Reporting live from Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News.